There are so many ways to make your Instagram account more engaging for your audience so that they stay close to your brand. So today we're talking about how you can create interesting Instagram stories. Let's get right into it. If you're new here, my name is Liz and I release videos every Tuesday talking about how you can add video to your business. Make sure that you subscribe so that you never miss any of my future content. Now, if you're already using Instagram, then you know that stories are a great way to build more engagement and connection with your audience. We often hear business owners saying that they can convert more followers into paying customers just from the content in their stories. And I really believe that too. So today we're talking about some of the ways that you can make your stories more interesting, because what is the point of having all of these stories if nobody actually spends the time to watch them? So stick around for nine or 10 different ways that you can create more interest with your IG stories. Let's get right into it. Now, the first tip is to keep your story slides to a maximum of 10 per day. Nobody likes to start watching stories when they see all the little lines at the top of their screen that make them feel like they're going to be stuck there for the next one hour watching stories. If you have something that's lengthier that you want to say, then you can either create a 90 second reel about it or do a live stream or just a normal video and then post that to your feed. Instagram stories are meant to be short snippets of things going on in your day, little messages that you want to give to your audience. They're not meant to be webinar style, 30 minute long slides that take up all of your stories. Don't forget that your audience will typically disengage with your stories if they see more than 10 slides there. So aim to have something in the morning, in the midday and in the evening, and maybe share a couple more things. On the note of sharing, sometimes we have a tendency just to be scrolling Instagram and finding things that are share worthy and then just becoming share happy and sending them all to our stories. So try to do this in moderation so that you are focusing more on your own original content and in between that sporadically sharing other people's stuff too. Now, another thing you can do to create interesting Instagram stories is to create a PNG transparent background image of yourself and then put that into your stories. So what are we talking about here? So this means you can go to a program like Canva, upload a picture of yourself, use the remove background feature just to pull out the background. So now you just have yourself there on that graphic and then download this as a PNG file, but make sure that you use the transparent background. So when you have that and you have it saved to your camera roll on your phone, the next time you are making a story, you can just copy that from your camera roll come to your Instagram story and paste it there and then just move it around and adjust it. It's really kind of cute and interesting and it connects you to that story, especially because then on this same screen, you can add some text or you can just have this PNG image of you while the background of the story is something else related to your business or to your service. This is just something a little bit extra and it just connects you as a person and as the business owner to the actual Instagram account. Now, if you ever create an Instagram story where you are actually referencing somebody else's business or work, or the content of that story would actually be of interest to somebody else that you know, or in relation to something that somebody else does, you might want to tag them when you are uploading that story. However, sometimes we forget to tag a person. So then in that case, what we can do is we can go back to that story, click the three dots, and then just add them as a mention there. This will allow you even to tag that person so that they are notified that you have mentioned them in your story so that they can also repost that and reshare that. This is also great for your audience to see people that you've tagged because it gives them an opportunity to also click into those people's account and then thereby continue to follow other work that is being done. So we're interrupting this video so that I can remind you to subscribe to this channel. I think you should do that first. And if you want to get moving with creating videos for your business, make sure that you look for the link in the description below for this free resource that I'm going to send you so that you can get started right away. Now let's get back to our video. Now adding a GIF or a GIF or whatever we want to call that to your stories just adds a little bit of movement and interest and a little bit of interactivity. If you're posting something to your Instagram stories that's quite static in nature, like just a graphic or even something that does have already some movement to it, like a video, it's always nice just to add a little GIF there. Now there's a couple different ways you can do that. You can either go to the options from within Instagram itself and just pull up a GIF or you can create a GIF or pull up a GIF on Canva and then download that to your device. And again, just like we did with the PNG image of ourselves, we're just going to copy it from our camera roll, paste it into our stories. Now there are so many type of GIFs, GIFs that are handy to post depending on what the content is. For example, hold down to read 
or tap to watch or new reel or check my website. Those type of little messages will just give that trigger to your audience because it's a little movement of the GIF there. Or of course, there's all the funny humorous GIFs that just add a different element to a post that might be a little bit more casual or serious in nature. So try experimenting with GIFs and just use the keyword research tool at the top so that you can find the type of GIF that suits the mood of the content that you are creating. Another interesting thing to post to your Instagram stories is a shareable quote of some nature or a saying or a tweet. Now, one of the things that we know is that it's really tough to actually repost someone's Instagram stories. Not all accounts allow this. So sometimes what happens is we post something that we think might be share worthy to our stories, but then it doesn't really occur to people to share it because there isn't any easy functionality to do that. So in that case, what you can do is create the actual quote or the graphic and put that on your stories. And then somewhere in small text closer to the bottom or the top, just kind of out of the view of the main content, type something like screenshot this so you can share it to your stories or something like that. That just prompts that person to remember, okay, this is something I can do. That way they can just screenshot that story and then they can just trim out the top and the bottom and get rid of that little prompt there and then they can share it out. Now, one of the things that are the most interesting for your audience to see on your stories is any of the interactivity features. Luckily, Instagram releases new features every once in a while, but we know by now that not everyone has access to every feature, so that's all well-known stuff. However, if you do have access to things like polls or the quiz sticker or the question box, then make sure you add those in. Now, the recommended best practice is that at least one story per day should include some type of interactivity feature. There's a couple reasons for this. One is, of course, Instagram loves it when you use the stuff that they've created. Secondly, it also keeps people on your story a little bit longer, which Instagram also loves. And people just like this stuff. It's more fun. It's more engaging rather than just scrolling and scrolling and scrolling through all of your stories. They can at least just interact a little bit and maybe answer a question. So of course, there's all sorts of strategic ways to do this. For example, if you have a question that you want to ask of your audience so that you can use that information to create different products and services for them. If you want to get some branding ideas or do a little bit of market research, of course, the polls, the question stickers, all of that is super useful for that. On the other hand, they're also just fun to have in general. They don't always have to be business related. I often post polls and do little quizzes and stuff about things that are absolutely not business related. They're just related to me as a business owner or something going on in my life or just some general questions. The point of stories is always to make a human connection with your audience. Your Instagram feed and your reels and your video channel, all of that is more content that has strategy behind it and a strong content marketing perspective. You have specific messages about your business that you want to give to your audience. But stories is a place where you can really just kind of let loose. So when you use the interactivity features, don't feel obligated to make them all very serious business related things. Just go ahead and have some fun with it and ask your audience questions that are easy to answer. If you create poll stickers or question stickers where you're asking them the world's toughest things that are going to take them 15 minutes to come up with an answer for, they are never going to engage. Stories are meant to be quick little pieces of content. So ask simple questions that they can come up with an answer within a couple of seconds and then see how that helps to drive more engagement to your stories. Another thing you can do to make more interesting Instagram stories is to use the drawing tool. There's so many different ways that you can use this, but some of the ways in general that just change the look and feel of your story are to fill in the background completely with a color and then you can just put text or a, or a sticker on top of that or upload a photo or a graphic and then just put a light overlay on top. That also looks really nice. Or you can use the drawing tool just to make little lines or little designs or even just to write a quick word on the screen. That just looks a little different. Don't forget about the arrow tool. Just having an arrow sometimes on the screen is really helpful, either to point them to the next story on the next page or just to point their attention down to a link that they should click, any of that type of stuff. And the eraser tool is also really handy. Once you draw some elements there, you can just use the eraser tool to make it a little bit more dynamic, or you can put an overlay over your entire graphic and then just erase out a little bit just to indicate a hint of something that is to come. Now, another way to make really branded Instagram stories is to make use of your brand color palette. 
So what you should do is have a copy of your color palette saved to your device's camera roll. So if you're familiar with Canva, you know that you can make a brand kit there. So take a screenshot of that and save it to your camera roll. The next time you're making your stories, just pull up that sticker just as a photo there so that you have it on your screen and then use the color picker tool to pick one of your brand colors. That way, once you have that color chosen, you can use it as the background for that story or you can use it for the text or to draw something on the screen. This gives a really, really branded look because you know that on Instagram, the colors are actually quite limited and you're stuck using what they've given you. So once you've created everything on your story the way that you like with the brand colors, then you can simply just hold down on that little sticker of the brand palette, drag it down to the bottom so that it reaches the trash can, and then it's just gone from your story. Now, if you have some photos on your camera roll that are saved as live photos, then that actually will allow you to upload it to Instagram stories and then play it as a boomerang. Now, you might wonder why would you wanna do that as opposed to actually just creating a boomerang? Well, it's actually more fun and more intentional to actually create a boomerang from within Instagram itself. But on the other hand, if you are just out and about going about your business through your day and then you take some photos and then you set them to the live setting when you're taking the actual photo, they will have a little bit of movement and then you don't have to go around, you know, posting to Instagram at that moment or opening up the Instagram app. Just take that live photo, upload it to your stories, and then you'll see that you can actually turn that into a boomerang. So sometimes it's useful just when we're out on a nice day and there's a little bit of you know, nature around us and the leaves are just moving lightly and you've taken that as a photo. So try that next time too. Now one really easy way to have interesting Instagram stories is to change up the way that you actually take the story so that your viewer is not always looking at the same thing all the time. That means having a good mix of different types of formats. For example, have some stories that are outside, have some stories that are inside, when they're inside, have them in different rooms. Have some stories that are about your personal life. Have some about your business. Have some about you as a business owner, and then have some specifically about your products and services. Some of your stories can be your original content. Some of your stories can be curated content, stuff that you found from other accounts that you are resharing with permission and their consent to your stories. So in, by doing this, you allow your viewer always to just keep on their toes and just be interested and engaged all the time. It doesn't become boring because they know that they are getting a nice variety of different things to look at and seeing different sides of you and the way that you go about your day and your business. So this really helps people to keep coming back to your stories. As soon as somebody feels like your stories are just boring in general, they will mute you right away and they will not come and watch your stories. This sends terrible signals to the algorithm because Instagram knows that stories are a place where people who really want to know about your brand or you come and watch. So if people are not watching that, that really gives them an indication that the only people interacting with your account are random people all over the internet that, that are just bumping into your reels. So stories really, really does play an important part of the strategy and Instagram knows this as well. So if you liked today's video and you learned something new about creating Instagram stories, I hope that you will give it a like and share it off with one of your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel because every single Tuesday, I bring you new videos teaching you how you can add video to your business. So until next time, take care.